clean sheet or last minute winner? Yeah, maybe professional head a clean sheet, but but yeah, maybe a last minute winner from the heart. That's a that's the one. If you could bring back one former Saints teammate, who would that be? Charlie Austin. Yeah, just a, just a great lad to have around the place. As a young player coming into the first team environment, he was um, he was brilliant for me, and he's got a got a heart of gold. But yeah, really um, really lively character and just a, just a good guy to have around. Who would you say is the the most annoying? Sharing a dressing room with Musa, it's been there's never a dull moment with Musa. When he's happy, he's very happy. Plenty of singing, plenty of dancing, plenty of music playing. I, I, yeah, he would he wouldn't and he doesn't annoy me, but. Um, yeah, he's, he's definitely the uh, extravagant teammate. Going back to when you made your Saints debut, so back in 2012, can you remember who you came on to replace in that game? Maybe Danny Butterfield. Close, Dan Harden. Ah, left back. Do you remember much about your debut? I took, <laughs> I, don't, I think I maybe touched the ball once or twice with my feet. I think I took about seven throw-ins. <laughs> Yeah, I think I was only on the pitch for about four or five minutes and we were 3-1 up, I think, and just sort of seeing the game out. I think all the other lads on the pitch just wanted the game to, to finish, whereas I wanted it to go on for another 40 minutes or so. When you're playing a game, is there one or a couple of individuals that you tend to end up shouting at the most? <laughs> Usually it's the ref. <laughs> I give Shay a bit of stick. But you know he's a really good mate of mine, and it's nothing, nothing personal. I'll probably give him. I'm probably a bit too harsh on Shay, to be fair. But not in the current squad, I don't think. There's not too many that I shout at. Just occasionally. Would you rather watch the deciding Ashes Test or go to the Wimbledon final? Oh, that's a horrible question. I think I'll go to the cricket. But if you ask me again tomorrow, I might say the tennis. It's that tight. You have a Martin Van Gerwen darts top in your locker at Staple. Michael Van Gerwen. Martin. Martin Michael. Van Gerwen. Michael Van Gerwen. Yes, I do. Me and Al play a lot of darts, and one of the lads, I think, I think it was Will Smallbone, he got me for Secret Santa, and he bought me a Michael Van Gerwen shirt, bright green. And obviously, usually Secret Santa can be a little, <laughs> little bit dangerous and give someone a bit of a dig, but. Yeah, that was a nice one. I think I got lucky that, that I got Will Smallbone because he's a really nice lad. So, yeah, it was a lovely present. Uh, you struck up a bit of a bromance with Nathan Teller. Yeah, I just want to look. At, I just want to look out for him. He's a, he's a he's a lovely lad and um, extremely talented. And I just I just want him to do really well. I just want him to get as get right to the very top, which he which he can do. But he, he's he just he's just very interesting. He makes me laugh. Um, and we're so different, and I think that's what that's what intrigues me. We're, we're so different as uh, individuals. Win the FA Cup but get relegated, or qualify for Europe through the Premier League. I'd rather win the FA Cup and get relegated. It doesn't sound very nice to say because you, you, you're sort of accepting a relegation, but I'd do anything to win the FA Cup. I think for me, it's the best competition in the world. I'd rather. I think I'd rather win that over anything else. If you had to choose a current Saints player in this squad to score the winner in the FA Cup final, I'm not trying to influence you, Redders actually chose you. <laughs> I did hear that actually. I'd love Redders to score. I'd, I, it, I'd love anyone to score because if that meant me getting getting a winner's medal, from a selfish point of view, I, I don't care. I, I wouldn't care if it was an own goal. I think, oh, I don't know, yeah, Prowse, I think, because, you know, he's, he's been here. 25 years or whatever it is. I think it would just, you know, a Prowsey free kick would be nice. If you could choose any defender that you've played with at Saints to come and play alongside you now, so this player in their prime, who would that be? I'd go with Maya because I think you have to look at it from a partnership point of view. And the spell that I had with Maya when I first got into the team, it was just, it just felt easy. It was just no, we, we never had to talk about the game or where we were going to be, it, it, it was so natural and he was just he was just fantastic for me, off the pitch, just a real good role model, fantastic person, yeah, just all round, all round brilliant guy.